araw ako si Patricia Tumulak ng Push to Read Project and welcome to my channel. Ang kwento natin ay San Jose na Kuya. Kayo ba? Marami kayong kapatid? Ako, pito kaming magkakapatid. May dalawa akong ate, may isang kuya, may tatlong sumunod sa akin. Ito sobrang dami. Kaya alamin natin ang kwento nila. Tara, samahan niyo ako magbasa. Sandusenang Kuya Written by Russell Molina Illustrated by Hubert Fuchsia You children are a handful! My brothers and I are so unruly Tata is angry at us again. Stop running around the house! He always tells us everything is topsy-turvy each time we're all inside the house. There are 13 of us. That's a lot. And I am the youngest. I have a dozen older brothers and they all look different. One is round, one is broad, and one is very tall. There's one who looks like an actor. Another looks like a genius. And there's one who has big eyes that we call him Fish. They all look different, but I call all of them Kuya. A dozen smiles greet me every morning. A dozen playmates with every hide and seek we play at the plaza. A dozen slippers fly past every time we play tumbang preso. A dozen obstacles when we play pati intero. One time, I was hungry. A dozen poles plucked mangoes from the neighbor's tree. A dozen pair of legs ran off when the guard dog started barking. A dozen pair of hands helped me clean the house. A dozen teachers helped me learn to read and write. A dozen doctors make me well when I am sick. When we're watching TV, you will hear a dozen ha ha ha's and he he he's. A dozen boys sing along to songs of the radio, but no one ever gets the notes right. <laughs> With each problem I have, a dozen solutions are available. Whenever I'm lonely, a dozen stories cheer me up. I must be the luckiest boy in the world. One day, our eldest brother approached me and surprised me with the news. Doi, I'm leaving in two days. He says, be good and obey your brothers. Don't give them any problems, okay? Where are you going, Kuya? It's time for me to leave the house. I'm old enough to live on my own. I can't believe it. Why does he have to go? <laughs> That's the way it is, son. Daddy starts to explain. When you reach his age, you will also feel the need to leave our house. You wouldn't want to live here all your life, would you? I forgot to say that this is where we live. A children's shelter. Orphans and homeless children like me are brought here to keep us from living in the streets. We are lucky to have Tatai. He's like a real father to us. He and my brothers are all the family I've ever known. Tatai also says that one day, other kids will be brought here. They will be my new brothers, and they'll be younger than me. 
a new boy will be a youngest. They will all look different. They will have different shapes. That I says, but they will all call you Kuya. We all go outside to see our eldest brother off. A dozen hands wave goodbye. A dozen voices wish him good luck and take care. A dozen pictures are given as keepsakes, and we place them inside a box with a dozen ripe mangoes. We're all sure that Kuya won't ever forget us. He will never forget our happy memories, which are definitely more than a dozen. Wee. Sana nagustuhan nyo ang kwento at sana may aral kayong napulot mula rito. Maraming salamat sa pakikinig. Huwag kalimutan mag-like, mag-share at mag-subscribe na sa aking channel. Kung may gusto kayong storya na gusto nyo basahin ko sa susunod, mag-comment lamang sa iba ba. At sa mga gusto mag-share at mag-donate ng libro, email na lang ako sa pushtoreadproject at gmail.com. Malaking tulong po iyon. Supportahan natin ang mga Filipino writers. Maraming salamat ulit. Hanggang sa muli.